Do you have a passion that you're desperate to pursue, but you can't because you're stuck in a full-time job or education? Well, I'm somewhat in this situation myself. In this video, I wanted to talk about how from listening to various successful people and also reflecting on my own experiences, I've devised a four-step plan to pursuing my true passion. Perhaps you're at step one, or maybe you find yourself at two or three like I am. Either way, I hope this video can provide you with a rough path you need to take to pursue your true calling. The first stage is the intention phase. If you're watching this, it's likely you've already completed this part of the journey. But essentially, this stage is all about defining what exactly it is we're chasing. Our passions should give us genuine feelings of enjoyment and meaningfulness. So how can we experience those feelings in our day-to-day -day life? For some who love both creative expression and rigorous attention to detail, perhaps a pursuit in game design is their calling. For me, I love both learning and sharing that knowledge, hence why I'm creating these videos with the dream of making this my full-time job. It's a clear goal in mind that if I were to achieve it, I would be able to experience those feelings of genuine enjoyment and purpose and drive in my day-to-day -day life. So once you've defined exactly what it is you want to achieve, then you can move on to the next stage. The foundation phase. Sadly, being passionate about something is not enough. For each pursuit, there is a foundation of knowledge, skills, or qualifications that you need to get started on the journey. So, as you're living your full time work life, start learning. What things will you undoubtedly need before you even take your first steps? Perhaps you need to take a course in coding if you want to be a game designer. Perhaps you need to learn to edit on Premiere Pro before you start uploading to YouTube, which turns out takes absolutely ages by the way. Essentially, before diving in headfirst and quitting your job, make sure you have the absolute fundamentals down first. For example, I started learning to surf. Surfing, like any other sport, requires both skill and fitness. Now, of course, I had absolutely no understanding of surfing, so the skill department was very much lacking. Ah! Almost! However, I did have the fitness. The fact that I had this fundamental aspect of surfing meant that I could progress a lot quicker than I would have without it. And the same goes for any skill we want to develop. Get the fundamentals down so when it's time to start leaning into that pursuit, the process is a lot quicker and easier. I did see a clip of Alex Hormozzi talking about taking unpaid positions in the field you want to work in. While this sounds great, I don't really think it's realistic. I personally can't quit my job and do this full time. I have bills to pay, you know. And by bills to pay, I mean surf trips. Oops. But we can a lot time in the evenings, take courses or potentially move to part time work and start getting some experience within your field. Then once you've developed that foundation, you can move on to phase three the development phase. Now it's time to start leaning into your dream. It's so easy to get ahead of yourself and want to jump headfirst into your pursuit. But we have to be sensible and realistic, something that I'm constantly having to remind myself, which is why I emphasize leaning instead of jumping. I am personally in this phase, and what it looks like is slowly starting to dedicate more time and effort into my passion, these videos. For some, it may look like reducing your hours at work, or potentially starting to spend a bit more money to get better equipment. Perhaps it's even starting to say no to some social events because you have a video to edit. Essentially, it's that slow shift of priority to making your passion more of the focus of your time. And I have noticed that the more time I put into these videos, the more progress I make, the more satisfaction that gives me, and that drives me to want to put more time in. And the cycle continues. But it is important to know, and I've already said this, but it's something I'm constantly having to remind myself, so I think I should say it again. This is not a headfirst dive off a cliff. This is a calculated process. We should use measurable goals and constantly reflect on our progress. Momentum is such a strong force, and it can take you a very long way, as long as you keep it directed. And it is at this point in which we hope to reach the final stage, expression. The expression phase is the epilogue of this journey. We have got to a place where we are happy with the amount of passion we have in our day-to-day -day life. This may look like a new position as a game designer, or it may look like spending your evenings writing a book that excites you. It's a place in which we are content with how much enjoyment and purpose we have in our day-to-day -day life. And we can decide that. Pursuing our passions doesn't necessarily lead to us taking on a new career. As much as I love surfing, I also kind of want to work on something more meaningful too. Following something we're passionate about is so powerful. It feels right. It feels exciting. It feels like this is what we were meant to do. And I applaud anyone 
who is pursuing this because it is scary and frustrating at times. And I hope that this video can provide you with a rough framework to pursue your goals. In the realm of setting more meaningful goals, I did recently upload a video talking about one question I asked myself that has transformed my goal pursuit and led to more meaningful goals and more success. You can check out a video on that right here. And again, best of luck with your goal pursuit. I do hope this video helped. Thank you very much for watching. And aside from that, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.